We don't have time to talk about this. Rock, paper, scissors. We have to decide who's gonna press the button. Just shut up and do it. One, two, three. Rock. Damn it. So what are you gonna pick? We're playing against Ten Yoji. Do you have any reason to think he won't betray you? Yeah. If he does, what does that make our BP? And when will we do that? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, you won. The decision's yours. Now decide, ally or betray. Three, two, one. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. So you chose ally, huh? Not complaining. I just think you're being a little soft-hearted. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have any facts, just misguided optimism. Yo, what's up? Siggy! kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Fine. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets.
Sigma. Phi. I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I said I was sorry. See? I told you. A soft heart is the easiest to break. Do you understand what kind of game this is now? Are you serious? Someone's dead, and not just dead, murdered. I got no reason to think that murderer wasn't one of you. Only an idiot trusts someone he's never met when there's a killer on the loose. You think I had a choice? Right. I think that's enough for me. I'm old, and I'm tired. So tired. I was gonna choose ally, I swear to God. But just as I'm about to do it, this little bastard runs in and hits the betray button. What? Oh, come on. Really gonna just try and play it dumb, huh? You're a manipulative little twerp, aren't you? Quark, is he telling the truth? Were... were you the one who chose betray? No! I didn't do anything! I didn't have a chance to do anything before Mr. Dio pressed the button! I'm telling the truth! I promise! <laughs> sure, kid. Whatever. The cute and innocent act isn't gonna work. No! I... I... Hmm. Fine. You just wait. Your fault, Quark. M my fault? Why are you blaming me? How could you do that, Mr. Dio? You're a jerk. to blame you but I mean if you just think about it wouldn't it make sense to choose betray forget it I understand now it was silly of me to trust you guys Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right, there will be a second round. When? Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right, you are. So, let me just close up. The Amadex gates have closed. Round two of the Amadex game will be the Moon Round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Yes, indeedy. Now. You'll have to lick the guards with runes on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. 
but I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Of course, you could also get stuck just below nine BP where every bunny just keeps going back and forth and back and forth, winning and losing points. After all, if there's no bunny with nine BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round three and round four and round five. Round 100, round 2000, you might even go all the way up to round 24 million, nine million, four thousand, eight hundred ninety-seven. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. I don't know. Can you? Bracelets, then? Ding, ding, ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! <laughs> no, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Vio. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You die. Here's an exciting fact! Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 when someone dies on a TV show. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. 
If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. Ha <laughs> ha! Oops. I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Alas or Siggy. <gasps> or Fido. Or maybe Mooney. Or maybe everyone. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. Correct, Siggy. Full marks. I get it. Sigma, Phi, Alice, and I only have one BP. If any of us chose Ally and got betrayed, our BP would drop below zero. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? Mine's magenta, too. Me, too. Hey, wait. It wasn't just the color that changed. I'm a solo now. I'm a yellow pair now. I am yellow as well, but it seems I'm still a pair. Then who's the yellow solo? Me. Still a solo. Looks like I'm cyan. I'm a cyan pear. Aren't you one too? Yeah. Says pear and the color cyan. When did they change? Back when the AV gates closed. As soon as 
soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. And of course, it's <laughs> totally random. No rules or anything! Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna cry? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Suckers! As if I'd cry over you dummies! <laughs> you mad? Oh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Maybe. I'll see you again someday. Have a nice tragedy. That little piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. <laughs> Um, so, what happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking, and if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections?
Ah, Sigma. <laughs> Another dude. This place is turning into a real sausage fest. <laughs> I guess I did notice that the sofa's pretty comfortable. I'd say that the comfort level of a sofa is pretty useful. Dio, what's this? <laughs> that? What, you can't tell? It's a dirty magazine. Can you even see? Just look at those rings on Saturn. Don't they excite you? It appears to be a special dedicated to a lunar eclipse. The cover says the eclipse can be observed on December 31st, 2028. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it did say something like that. Six days, huh? You mean today is December 25th? Hey, Kay. Your team went to the crew quarters, right? Did you find anything? Nothing of interest. You'd better not be hiding something. There really wasn't anything helpful. At least, nothing that could help us escape. There was a book about a cat, though. A cat? What, so now Zero Senior's a crazy cat lady? Just what the hell are we supposed to do with that tidbit? Hey! The sofa's comfort level is very useful! Um... What? I think you must have misunderstood me. This book isn't for... Uh, cat ladies. It's about Schrodinger's cat. Uh, I don't really give a shit about the breed, genius. Anyway, I'm a dog person, if you couldn't tell. No, it's not an issue of breed. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a story about poor Mr. Schrodinger and his beloved cat, right? Don't tell me. The cat dies at the end. Boo fucking who? Fine. Never mind. Sigma? So this is where you were. Did any of you find anything? You were looking though, right? Hey, answer me. And? Useless. What about you, Sigma? 
You were one of the people searching the infirmary, weren't you? It looks like a piece of newspaper. The headline says, Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What? What is Radical 6? Okay. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Is there a chance? I mean, I certainly hope it isn't the case, but could it be that this facility is, in fact, one of the quarantine locations that clipping mentions. Then, you're saying we're all infected with this Radical 6 virus? Well, I do feel a little strange. I've lost my balance a few times. Probably just because you were asleep for so long. Are you suggesting that our incarceration here has nothing to do with this article? Yeah. It just doesn't add up. The order's backwards. Maybe if we'd been thrown in here after this virus started spreading. But right now it looks like we were abducted before this thing turned into a pandemic. How's that make any kind of sense? Besides, you found that article in the safe, right? That means Zero Senior put it there specifically so we could find it and read it. Why would Zero do something like that? So that we'd think this place is a quarantine facility. So that we'd think what Zero wants us to think. How do you mean? This thing is just a... a prop. Something to set the scene. Zero's trying to freak us out. That article is a fake. <laughs> Right? <laughs> that lazy son of a bitch. Probably too much of a pain in the ass to fake a whole paper. What does the other side look like? See? There you go. Why would a newspaper just be black on one side? Well, perhaps there was an ad there. An ad? Some sort of full-page ad with a black background. Exactly. Even I know that, and I can count the number of times I've read a paper on one hand. If Zero Senior really wanted to trick us, why not go all out? Only an idiot would fall for this. It's pathetic. Am I right or what? I suppose you do have a point. Yes, I agree. <laughs>
Oh, Sigma. Well, have you found anything? Nothing. I looked through three or four of the rooms in here. No secret passages so far. I don't think we're gonna find any. Do you really think Zero Senior is that stupid? You're probably right. A secret passageway would be a pretty serious oversight. I have a lot of choice adjectives for Zero, but I admit stupid isn't one of them. Right? What? What do you mean? Yeah, we do. We're half-sisters. Any chance you'd buy that one? Then what do you think we are? What? Alice, what should we do? Clover and I are co workers. We can't tell you that. You can tell yourself that if it makes you feel better. Well, why would you think that? kidnapped and forced to play a game. The rules were different, but it was called the Nonary Game too. Oh, wait. I guess only seven of them were really kidnapped. I mean, two of them were actually the ones behind it. No, I, I guess if I count the other two, then there were nine. Anyway, the people behind that Nonary Game also called themselves Zero. <laughs> Because I was part of it. I was one of the people who got kidnapped. No, it's my third. The same thing happened ten years ago. I... I guess you could say that. No, I... I don't think so. Because the game was run by a different person both times. And the guy behind the first nonary game has already been arrested. They... they're still on the run, but... No, I really don't think so. 
because they already did what they were trying to do. There's no way they'd have another nonary game. Yes. Well, I can't be totally sure, but I think so. I don't know. Well, somebody in a gas mask showed up and used that white smoke stuff on me. That's what happened a year ago. And that's what happened on the 22nd. Someone with a gas mask attacked Alice and me while we were... But I don't know why they do that. I mean, they already did what they needed to do. And if it was them, then I don't know why all these other people are here. Except for me and Alice, none of you guys have anything to do with what happened a year ago. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. I know I've never met Luna, or Dio, or Tenmyoji, or Quark, or Phi, but Kay... Right. There's no way to know who he is under that armor. And if his memory loss is real, he wouldn't know even if he had met any of us. Unless we can get that mask off him, I can't say for sure if I've met him before or not. Um... Sorry, but I think that's all you're going to get. We don't have any proof that you're not Zero Senior. If you are... Then she'd be telling our enemy all our secrets. I can't let that happen. I wouldn't say that. Maybe there's something we know that Zero Senior doesn't. Are you deaf? I said we're not telling you. Let's go, Clover. There's one more room we haven't visited. Oh, okay. Coming. <laughs> Goodbye.
Sigma, huh? What do you want? Oh, I thought maybe you were here to kill me. Because I betrayed you in the last AB game. I'm the reason you and Fi are down to 1 VP. Maybe. This side of the divider, yeah. Quark's over there, having a look around. And there's... <laughs> You're really gonna make me say it? <laughs> oh, what, isn't that normal? We found a dead body. Who the hell doesn't get a little freaked out? Uh, what ain't normal is all of you just running around like nothing happened. Hell, some of you probably don't even remember she's in here. trying to survive, huh? Then don't you think we ought to figure out who killed her first? You don't think much, do you? I'll bet you a pound of Neo Daimyo, the bastard who grabbed us, is the same bastard who killed her. Who else could it be? made pretty short work of me. Me and Quark. Yeah. Yeah, we were. So what if he is? Why do you want to know? That doesn't have anything to do with what's going on here. I'm pretty sure it won't. Quark's got nothing to do with this. God. What is it, goddammit? What do you want? Why don't you just leave me alone? Wait, what? There's nothing suspicious about me. Forgive me if I don't feel like spilling my guts to a guy who probably hates him right now. Hey, stop it! Quark! Don't tell him a damn thing! What? Move! Quark, what's wrong? Say something! <sighs> yeah. He's breathing. I don't know! Look, that doesn't matter. Just go find that girl, uh, Luna. She said she was a doctor, didn't she? Quark needs a doctor.
what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an... infection. A viral infection. Oh no. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. Yeah, they have. I told them about it before we went to the lounge. Wh what? No. No, that can't be right. The Quark can't be... There must be something we can do. How can we cure him? Well, the Atom says that there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Was there none in the infirmary? Sigma, Tenmyoji, and I looked everywhere. We didn't find anything. We didn't find anything like that in the crew quarters either. No luck in the lounge. Oh god. Then he's... He's going to... Oh god, no. Quark? Quark! Oh, thank God. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... Escape! But... how? Like... this! Luna. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? There's Soparil Beta. <laughs> Soparil? 
That's the anesthetic. The one that's in our bracelets. Good, perfect. Hit him with some of that. Well, what? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay, let me just... Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop! Stop! <sighs> Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves. Everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, um, well... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article Sigma showed me. You'd better not be lying. Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses that do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes. At least, I think so. <laughs> Look at this last line. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Are you saying this is some kind of quarantine zone? I already explained this. That's not possible. Why not? Then, you're saying the newspaper article was faked? But the virus is clearly real. That atom machine told us he was infected with Radical Six. So? Do you know how that thing works? I bet there's a thousand ways to hack it. Zero Senior probably just programmed it so that it would spit out whatever he wanted. Besides, there was something Sigma mentioned. Have any of you guys heard anything about any sort of viral pandemic? Well... No. But... I have heard rumors about a virus being used as a bioweapon. What? What did you say? As much as I would love to, I'm sorry. Time's up. Hit the buttons on your bracelet. Then we only have five minutes until the chromatic doors open downstairs. Exactly. I'm sorry, but I'd really need more than five minutes to explain this. Or would I? Who knows? Fine. We'll deal with this later. Right now, we need to get to the elevator and head down to floor B. What are we going to do about Quark? I'll carry him. Are you sure? I can't just leave the boy here. Besides, if we don't have Quark's bracelet, there'll be one team who can't open their secondary door. If that happens... They'll get penalized. Exactly. Very well, then. I will carry Quark. I will be able to move much faster than Tenmyoji. Huh. You make a good point. 
Look, are you sure about this? Can I trust you? You have nothing to worry about. Fine, just be careful. Of course. All right, let's go. We're running out of time, people. Move! Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. They're open! We need to hurry. Who's going to go in which door? We're almost out of time. Pay attention. We've only got time to do this once. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. I think the people who have the greatest disadvantage should get to choose. The people who have one BP. So you, Phi, Luna, and Sigma? Yes, exactly. All right then. Who do you want to go with, Alice? Anyone but Dio. I'd rather die than get paired up with that prick. Just anyone but him. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of hate. What did you expect? You betrayed me. Hey, I told you already. That was Quar- I don't believe you. What? You're telling me you trust him more than me? Anybody other than Dio could mean Quark, you know. You willing to pair up with him? He's asleep. I don't really think I need to worry about him voting. All right, bye. Who do you want to go with? Anyone other than Tenmyoji is fine. My reasoning is the same as Alice's. He betrayed me last time. I guess that's fair. If we want to honor Alice and Fi's requests, then we can go with any option besides C. So, A or B? 
Uh, hold on. We've got two other people with one BP. How about you, Luna? I... I don't really have a preference. Clover and Kay did betray me last time, but... <laughs> Yeah. All right then, Sigma. What about you? Me? But I picked Betray last time. Is that so? Mind telling me how you'll do that? Fine. You're on. So we're doing option A. That means Luna, Dio, and I will go through the green door. Which leaves the red door for Quark, Kay, and me. Any objections? Good. Let's go. Listen, um, take care of Quark, all right? You needn't worry. I'll watch out for him. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. <laughs> Right. I'm going, I'm going. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. 